These are the offices of publishers Pan Macmillan in London. Behind these doors, and amongst their partners worldwide, they are planning the launch of the fourth book in the Clifton Chronicles series. The author is unique, both in the way he works and in how his books are received around the world. The Geoffrey Archer brand is separate from Geoffrey the writer. The brand, for me, is the emotional space that exists between Geoffrey's writing and his readers. So our success with the book is, as Geoffrey would always say, if I've written the book well, then it's, it's down to you. And he's quite right. We understand that emotional space between Geoffrey's writing and his readers, and it's why we've been able to grow his sales. So the editing process, uh, with Geoffrey in particular, is a quite complicated one because before we even get the manuscript, Geoffrey does at least 14 drafts. I can't think of another author that I work with who does that many drafts and works so diligently on it. He's a man who has boundless energy and enthusiasm. He can be quite challenging, but in a really exciting way. And also it's just great to be working on something that's so successful. Sometimes Geoffrey will uh, ring up and suggest things that he thinks are particularly pertinent to his book. But apart from that, I think he generally leaves us to work through our own ideas. The ship was, I think, the key element to it. So the way we came at that one was literally just to research all sort of images of ships and dockyards and images of a couple. I worked through the best way to put those images together, really. And I suppose above all, actually, to give a sense of this classic story. The big difference this time is that we are going for the global publication moment. So all of the um, different territories in which we publish Jeffrey are all publishing in the same week. And we're planning uh, the most integrated campaign yet. Jeffrey's kind of a dream because he appeals so widely that we can use every tool in the kit. We can use social media, we can use traditional outdoor sort of landmark bus sites and everything in between because his readership is, is very wide. Social media does play a massive part in uh, what we do for Jeffrey because he has such a huge following on social media, uh, Facebook and Twitter alike. He's constantly engaging with his fans. He tweets um, a number of times most days and also he responds to people who are tweeting him, which is fantastic. The reason I think Jeffrey's books work so well globally is just because of the universal nature of his stories. They're about uh, love and rivalry and, and passion and adventure and all sorts of really universally appealing um, characters. And in a way as well, his Britishness, he's um, a great British export, I would say, in the sense that the Britishness of his stories is the kind of Britishness that's rather nostalgic and that appeals uh, around the world. <laughs>